everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Tiny Mini Acrylic Painting Series. I'm so excited about today's episode because, oh man, I love the result. I love the way it turned out. It was just one of those times where you're just like painting away, getting started, being hasty because I want these videos to be relatively short. And everything just coming together really nicely and I just love the result. It's such a good time. So um, hype aside, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That will be uh, very, very helpful in order for me to obtain any sense from YouTube. Give me that YouTube money. <laughs> and uh, we're going to jump straight into it. Uh, what I did here is I grabbed a little bit of purple, a little bit of blue, put it over kind of like at the top corners. And then as I was working my way down through the sky, I was adding a little bit more white and a little bit more yellow as we get to the horizon line and a little bit further down to the bottom. I've loaded up this brush with just uh, big blobs of white. And I'm just smearing it on the paint that's on the canvas is still a little bit wet so it blends in with the sky colors. I added a little bit of uh, slow dry medium to my mixture in order for the acrylic paint to stay uh, wet a little bit longer. And um, I'm just wiggling my brush left and right blending the white with the color that's already on the canvas. And it creates all this fluffy cloud effects and I'm not trying super hard we're just smudging it on. And like I said earlier, like it's just one of these episodes where everything just comes together really nicely. I'm so stoked. So um, we're uh, starting at the top, making our way down. And then I loaded up the brush with a little bit of darker purple. And I'm just going to try to block in a steep, rugged, mm, dare I say nasty. I don't think it's nasty, but it's definitely pointy and, and, and like barren uh, kind of rock mountain. And I'm making these broad horizontal strokes as I work my way down and once again the paint that's on my brush blends in with the paint that's already on the canvas and what's on the canvas is white so as we wake our way down it's going to get a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter creating a sense of distance now I base this image on a photo that I saw from the Banff National Park over in Canada they got some super rocky, crazy, pointy looking mountains and some, you know, they're very barren, very rugged. And I based that loosely on images that I saw from that area. So um, it's, uh, it's a great inspiration. It's cool. So I'm really happy with how the shape of this mountain turned out. It's got a lot of character, I'd say. And that's what a lot of those peaks have around that area. So it's kind of cool. Uh, here I've got a very thin brush. I'm just going to decide where a couple of our trees are going to live and I'm just trying to make a very clean but very thin line top to bottom and I'm applying a little bit more pressure as I get to the bottom just to give the trunk a little bit more body as we get to the bottom of that tree. And there can be a couple of little guys here over in the distance. Just put them down wherever you want to, Bob Ross style, not worrying too much about it. And then I go back with that brush and I'm just bouncing that tip of the brush left and right to create all these little branches with leaves, making our way down towards the bottom of the tree. The tree is getting fatter and fatter as we get to the bottom. And uh, we're gonna do that for every single tree. It takes a little bit of time, but you gotta do them one at a time. And bonus points if you can mix your colors slightly differently for every single tree, because trees are mostly green and a little bit of brown, but if they all have their individual characteristics and therefore also color, so if you can mix up your colors slightly different for each tree, you're going to get a much livelier painting because every tree is going to stand out from one another. It's going to prevent you from just having a bunch of green blobs on your, uh, on your canvas. Um, so be sure to mix it up a little bit. And then we grab a little bit of yellow and some lighter color for some highlights on these trees. And boom! Suddenly it has a lot more depth. We can use that same color to put a little bit of grassy highlighty bits here at the bottom and all of a sudden it really pops forward and sets the foreground apart from the background and then creates a lot of depth with these bright yellows. And with that done, this is pretty much our painting already. I had so much fun uh, working on this little thing. It's super easy. It didn't take that much time at all. Like I said, it's just one of those paintings where everything just kind of like clicks and comes together. I'm happy with the sky. I'm happy with, uh, with the mountain. I'm happy with my trees. So I hope you all had a good time. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We will see you on the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day.